In this video, I will guide you through a logical troubleshooting procedure for a faulty gas valve in the gas furnace simulator. Begin by clicking the start button on the phone. Next, proceed to the thermostat by clicking the thermostat icon at the bottom left of the page. Turn the selector switch on the thermostat to the heat mode by clicking on it. This will also increase the temperature setting on the thermostat. Next, we need to proceed to the furnace by clicking the furnace icon at the bottom of the page. Once at the furnace, we can remove the cover and tape the door switch in to reestablish power back to the furnace. Now we want to observe the sequence of operations that occurs. The inducer starts, the igniter does glow, which we can see here, proving that the pressure switch has in fact closed its contacts yet there is no ignition. This means that we either have a faulty gas valve or possibly the IFC or integrated furnace control is faulty not sending power to the gas valve. This is a fairly simple troubleshooting procedure. Begin by removing the volt ohm meter from the toolbox. Turn the selector dial to AC volts and place the leads at the glowing hot spots at the gas valve. We can see here that the gas valve is receiving 24 volts, which indicates that the IFC is in fact sending power to the gas valve and the gas valve is not opening. This means that the gas valve is faulty. At this point, we don't know whether it's an electrical or mechanical fault with the gas valve. One way of verifying which of these two it is, is to measure resistance across the gas valve coil. Turn the power off, isolate the gas valve coil, and measure resistance across it. A reading of infinite resistance indicates an open coil in the gas valve. Next, click on the gas valve to replace it. Click Replace. The repair summary states this repair will cost $260. We do wish to proceed since this is our fault. We can see that the problem is corrected. Next, ensure that you remove the tape from the door switch. You install the covers back on the unit and click on the broom to clean the work area. Good luck.